Hey gang, what's happening? So I uh, just wanted to break this down for you a little bit. Um, this tune that I'm doing is by a guy named Chris Hartwood Jones. I did his album a few years ago. And unfortunately, I didn't get to play on this song because he had already had it done, but it's my favorite tune on the album. And what ended up happening was his, uh, uh, the hard drive where all his original music had been kept, it crashed. So, with that in mind, he uh, decided uh, he wanted to just start redoing the songs again. Can you hear me better? Is that better? Uh, I hope so. Um, yeah, he decided he wanted to kind of redo everything, and so he gives me the opportunity to play uh, on this tune. And I'm going to preview a little bit of it here for you and I'm going to play it down because it's already been released but I'm going to do my part and I've already sent him over the stems for it but I also wanted to see what I could do just to retrack it again and see what happens. It's a, it's a really cool tune. So the, uh, the pattern, the bass, the bass pattern is uh, it's like a uh, um, what would it be? It's like a 1 E, a 2 and a It's that kind of thing right there. So when I was doing it and when I was listening to it, I came up with uh, with this um, thing. Uh, I wanted to, you know, try to uh, incorporate that that uh, like that. Uh, uh, Tunes in six, so let me go ahead and count it because I wasn't counting it. Counting is the cheat code for music, by the way, and if you didn't know that, so it's a uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. So that kind of took me on a uh, 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 bit of a uh, it, it's a little bit difficult for me to maintain that when I've got other things going on on top, you know, such as the uh, the, the snare drum and the hi hat part. And I'm going to put down the mic here in a minute. And um, one of the things I was uh, let, let me just play a little bit of it for you here with b before I went through the whole evolution of it. So let me play this. So you can kind of hear that it's not real consistent on my kick, and also when you hear it in the music, there's there's a the actual dr uh, bass pattern is that. Uh, uh. There's a couple of stops in it. So with that pattern repeating over threes like that, one two three, 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 one two three. So uh, that in itself, that's uh. It's, I, I got to thinking about it, you know what, how could I put something together rudimentally? Like, uh, what rudiment would fit into that? And then I thought, well, that sounds just like a Swiss Army triplet, at least half of a Swiss Army triplet. What's a Swiss Army triplet? Try both left, right, both left, right, both left, right, both left, right, like this. That's a Swiss Army triplet. So what I thought in my, uh, in my creative mind, I thought, well, why not let's, instead of playing the Swiss Army triplet between two hands, which would be a little bit, uh, uh, it's not going to fit the pattern. What if I played the right hand on the hi-hat and the bass drum 
for the uh, or, uh, yeah for the for the left hand. So let's listen to that. And this is what it sounds like. It's like uh, uh So you get that pattern, and it maintains that beat. Now, let me go ahead and play this over the top of that and count it in six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so that's going to give it that kind of feel. Let's listen to it if I put a backbeat on the two, the four, and the six. So it's going to sound like this. I just had this thing yesterday, I swear. <laughs> you know what it is? It's that there's another part to it that I need to back away from. And that other part is something that you would hear in a Tool song. So you guys need to forget all that crap you just heard right there because I was just screwing up left and right. Um, I have to open the hi-hat on the first note. So it's going to sound like that Tool song, Anima, I think it is. So here, listen. still sounds kind of clunky but um you know when i get in the music it, it it's going to tend to uh to smooth itself out so uh, uh let's go and just uh let's give it a play shall we i'm going to record this too so i'm going to actually i'm sorry about sucking on that first thing Oh man. Live internet, babies. Yes, yes. That's what it is. It's live internet. Sometimes you fall flat on your face. Make sure that okay. Alright. Let's see what it's gonna sound like.
I forgot to leave the click on. Forgot to turn the click on. <laughs> Live internet broadcasting, baby. Let's just go turn that click on. Let's redo this puppy. Because I want to do like, I, you know, I get into the tune, I'm like, damn, what's missing? And I realize, oh, dang it, I forgot to turn the click, too. Okay, so, once again. Thank you. 
You know, that's the hardest part about having a home studio. <laughs> because when you have a home studio, you're compelled to be like, oh man, I just screwed that one part up. And, you know, you got to go back and you got to redo it. And you're like, okay. So that's when you start noticing you start filling up a lot of hard drives. <laughs> man. Okay, so I'm going to turn up this right here. And uh, I know that guy. I read your chat, Bill. Read your chat, Bill. Hey, uh, hey Matt. Hi, Matt. <laughs> uh, woo. Yeah, Matt Harwood Jones, another fine young drummer in the Pacific Northwest, Canada, I believe. Man, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to have a musical communion with your pops. He's a he's a good dude, and I'm very happy to be part of his little world of stuff and drumming and things and all that. Are we good here? Hmm. I think I got too much. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Good lord. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Left front. No, nope. front left. That's what I'm looking for, right there. Yeah, I just want you guys to be able to see every, everything okay. All right, so let's break this down a little more, huh? Now that I'm loose, you guys just avoid the first 10 minutes of this show. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you got the Swiss Army triplet thing happening between my uh, right hand and my left foot. I mean my left foot, my, my right foot and my right hand. A Swiss Army triplet. Like that. And then I'm just opening the first note. Uh, uh. I have to do it like this. how fast it falls apart that is the part why you have to learn how to count and have to break everything down because like too often you get dependent upon another limb to fill in a space and when you have that other limb filling in the space it becomes uh, kind of uh, difficult to uh, you know play it uh, to break it down so that's why if you if you break everything what you do down then it makes it a lot easier to, to do it. You know, uh, just, you know, you have to pull it out and break it up into component parts. So let's try it again.
Okay, so, man, that tune, there's, there's just so much stuff in it, you know? There's a lot of directions you can go. I mean, there's so many notes to play, <laughs> so many juicy little things to jump on and grab. So, like, half the takes that I do are me trying to say, don't do all that stuff, Billy. So, and, you know, I've probably run this, I'm, I'm not even going to say how many times I've run this song, okay? It's just not. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's multiple takes, multiple tracks. Um, this uh, this stuff is really, uh, it's challenging to me. And anyways, um, I'm not going to stay on much longer here because it's freaking burning up in my room here and I want to turn on some AC. And it's kind of hard to do that when I'm recording at the same time. So uh, anyways, that's uh, kind of the breakdown of what... Uh, some of my process here, and um, I'm recording. Uh, I've got 16 tracks in on a Zoom L20 live track, and I'm using Adobe Audition as my software. I've got uh, Audix mics and a few other assorted odds and sods. Stone custom drums, Aquarian drum heads, Sabian cymbals, Promark sticks, slug beaters, DW pedals. Uh, what else? Uh, Simpat, uh, not not Simpat. Uh, 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 Sonal percussion for the uh, the washers on my cymbals. Yes. Anyway, appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully next time I'll uh, have my stuff together a little bit better. <laughs>